It's 8.30 p.m. on a Monday, and I just got back from the hospital and had dinner. I had my appendix out, and I'm not okay. It hurts to cough. I've been wearing these as pajamas since Monday last week. I was going to give them a wash, but they're the only thing I had to go in with. And I got someone to bring me some pants. They brought me these. They got them out of my laundry dirty hamper. Laundry dirt, dirty laundry hamper. Yes, th that is the word I am searching for. Also, I asked the nurses how long the very strong drugs they gave me would last. They said two hours. It's very sharp and then down. Um, so I drove home. I, I think the two hours was more of a half life, because I think, uh, yeah. It was about four hours after I had the drugs I left because very safe. I don't know what that was. I'm fucked up. Um, yeah, I was definitely high as a kite while driving. Look at my eyes, dude. I should not have driven, but I was already halfway before I realized that. Uh, but I didn't die. No one else did. That's good. Um, I have... A cannula in my arm because I'm getting more drugs tomorrow morning antibiotics I ate food that that was nice the last time I ate my food was Friday lunchtime and since then Monday nighttime now um, there have been two meals that the hospital gave me that I could actually eat and not shit my ass out. I'm already sensitive to certain foods. I don't want to be sensitive to certain foods while my appendix is going to burst or has been removed. That seems dumb to do. Yeah, there's food in my stomach now and um, I can feel it moving and everything and everything is not okay. Hell, I haven't even slept properly since Thursday night. I, I, I'm not okay. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I could use a cuddle. I, I'm fucked up. But I've got university tomorrow night. Good morning. It's Tuesday. My tummy is a meat balloon of pain and suffering. Um, I think this is what winning looks like. Maybe. Um, I'll let you know when I get up. Okay, I'm up. There's a frost, which I did not feel last night because I had the heater on my blanket cranked up the whole night. Although I did wake up at like 4 a.m. and crank it down because I was sweaty. Um, but yeah, frost, rooster, mop. Winning? Winning. I think I'm winning. Alright, it's 11am on a Tuesday. I have fed the chickens, had breakfast. The nurse has come and given me antibiotics. Um, I got dressed. Um, I may have done some other things that I cannot remember. My current plan is to get out of here, get some drugs, and um, take those drugs. Because I haven't had any since last night and I don't like it. Okay, I've got my drugs. I've taken them. I've had lunch. I've written a handwritten letter for my favorite nurse. And I have got a care package for the rest of the nurses. Because they was extra nice to me. And I was obnoxious. So two amazing things just happened. I realized that the driver's seat of my car folds back. A hell of a lot like a hospital bed and I had a nap and everything feels better oh and the other thing is I found the oxycontin in my car all right off to study and yes the nurses did like their chocolates so I'm about to go to my lecture I needed to read two chapters for that I read two pages just finished a seminar I would like to go to the toilet however the toilet at home has old people rails and 
a butt squirty thing, a bidet. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a risk it. Yeah, go home. More antibiotics. All right, that arm doesn't bend. I'm gonna go have food. And um, probably try to sleep. Like I'm not doing nothing else. So my life is not designed to be comfortable. I sleep on a foam mattress about yay thick. It does have an electric blanket, but that's because it's outside in a trailer. The kitchen table is a single chair and a table. I have a little reading nook with a recliner, but again, that's outside. It's winter right now. It's fucking cold. My life is not designed for comfort, but my car is. Ha! <laughs> Relaxing is for women, children, and men without ambition. I do not have much ambition this week, so I'm going to relax. I'm at a 45 degree angle, and this is nice. It took a lot of effort, but I made myself a pillow fort, and I'm slightly elevated off of the ground, which makes breathing easy. I like it when breathing is easy. That's nice. Um, Waiting for the drugs to kick in so that I can go to sleep. Yep. Um, fun vlog, eh? Vlog. Fun, fun, blah, blah, blah. fun vlog. Yep, I'm going crazy over here. Alright, um. Pace. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. on a Wednesday. I used to have an angry meatball. I now have a very sore tummy. The improvement is amazing. Alright, I got up. Here's a little nest I made for myself. Definitely missing that hospital bed, I'll tell you. God, I look old today. Having a very unproductive, sleepy day. Um, it's Wednesday, in case I forgot. And I took a laxative two hours ago, and now I can breathe. I like breathing. Alright, it's 10.30. My stomach is hurty, and I've done all the things. Um, the nurses aren't coming back anymore, I'm on my own. It's Thursday, so I've disabled YouTube because I need to get shit done at some point. I'm going to go to uni, I've got a class, a whole heap of time, and then a seminar, and, and then th Thursday's pub. Um, yep, yep. Just got through my first class, yay! I um, ordered some food, forgot my phone in my car, now I'm going to waddle back and go eat my food later. So I've kind of been falling asleep off and on since lunch, it's now 8pm. I can feel my digestive system moving, it, it's not nice. I, I'm going to go lay in my car, put the seat down. And try to have a little nap because hopefully I poop before bedtime. That that would be good. Yep. Friday morning. Chickens fed. Stick. Good. Chicken shed. Good. Gravity. Bad. I've been looking for this walking stick. Found it. All right. Just went home for lunch and a laxative. Feeling a little better, I guess. Probably won't be in the next few hours, but I got a class, so I gotta go do that. It's Saturday, I've been recovering, my body has not given me much of a choice in that matter, and I'm about to go to the shops. Well, that was humbling, went to the gym for like two seconds to see if I've lost weight. I haven't, I've gained two kilos, which is weird because I've not eaten much. And then I went to the shops, and I'm still struggling to breathe. That was fine. Uh, I'm going to go home now. Yep. This is... I hate this. It's nearly noon on a Sunday. I've had breakfast. I've had brunch. The chickens have been fed. I have been laying in my bed for quite some time on and off. And... Yeah. I thought I was doing well. And then I started recording myself and realized how much I was struggling to breathe. Um, yeah.
<laughs> it's rough, man. It's it's fucking rough. Right, so I want some lactose-free yogurt because I want nice things, which means they're going to the shops, and I smell awful. So I'm gonna go find some deodorant. It should be in here. That was yummy. So my mind is mostly empty, but there are three things jumping around up in there. One. Last month, I spent over $2,000 on being alive, not including um, the mechanic or anything else, just just food, fuel, uh, phone bill, I guess. I know for a fact that I can live off of 500 a month under these circumstances, so I gave myself a budget of 1000 I blew well over 2000 or maybe just 2000 not that great at math at the moment. Two, um, I should probably find a way to make my farming endeavours profitable um, because if I'm going to be a farming consultant, I should be able to make my own farm profitable. This makes sense. I've got bugs, I've got veg, I've got chickens, and I currently have many, many, many fertilised eggs. Which I, they're just sitting there. Yep. Three, I don't want to. I mean, sure, it sounds nice and pretty and noble, but um, at the end of the day, I'm comfortable and I, I, deep down, I don't want to do it. And because, because I, I don't have anyone to provide for. Like, I am not responsible for anyone beyond myself, and I am doing great at taking care of myself right now. And I think that's a problem, and I do not know how to solve that problem right now. Like, if a month from now my hypothetical wife told me she was pregnant and we're expecting a baby, all of that work in the backyard would be done in a week. Like, I would fly through because I've got a reason. I've got a why. I just, I just don't have that right now, and I don't know how to make it. Oh well. And with the perfect end of the week, I kind of just shit my pants. That was great. All right, peace, guys.